New method for detecting adulterants in milk. IISC team develops novel computational model to predict change blindness and researchers decode mystery around black tigers. I'm Nithi Kumar and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings to you the best that science offers from exciting developments in science and technology to futuristic solutions. Let's move on to story number one. An adulteration of milk is a pressing concern in developing countries like India where a significant portion of supplied milk fails to comply with the standards set by the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. Water is frequently added to increase the volume of milk along with urea which makes the watered down version whiter and foamier. This can potentially endanger the normal functioning of the liver, heart and the kidneys. And now researchers at the Bangalore based Indian Institute of Science have developed a low cost and effective method to detect adulterant cell milk by merely analyzing the deposition patterns after evaporation. The team used the method to test for the presence of urea and water, the most common adulterants and suggests that the technique can be extended to other adulterants also. And in their study, the researchers looked at evaporative deposition patterns, those that emerge when a liquid mixture like milk completely evaporates, causing volatile components to dissipate and solids or non-volatile components to arrange themselves in distinctive patterns. Milk with and without water or urea showed very different evaporative patterns. In unadulterated milk, the evaporative patterns consisted of a central irregular blob-like pattern. Water was found to cause distortion of complete loss of this distinctive pattern. Depending on how much of it is added, urea also completely erases the central pattern. Being a non-volatile substance, it does not evaporate but instead crystallizes starting at the interior of the milk crop and extending along the periphery. The technique was designed by Dr. Varkeshwar Kumar, a postdoctoral researcher and Susmita Das, assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at the institute. They have published a report on their work in the journal ACS Omega. Now let's move on to story number two. Well, our brains pay attention to details but sometimes fail to notice even marked differences. This phenomenon of overlooking a visual change or change blindness has been studied by a research group at the Center for Neuroscience and the Department of Computer Science and Automation Indian Institute of Science. They have developed a novel computational model of eye movement that can predict a person's ability to detect changes in the visual environment. And in a study published in PLOS Computational Biology, the researchers believe that successful change detection may be linked to enhanced visual attention, how some people are better at selectively focusing on specific topics. In the future, the researchers also plan to incorporate artificial neural networks with memory into the model to more realistically mimic the way our brains retain recollection of past events to detect changes. The authors say that the insights into understanding change blindness provided by their model could help scientists better understand visual attention and its limitations. Some examples of areas where such insights can be applied include diagnosing neurodevelopmental disorders like autism, improving road safety while driving or enhancing the reliability of eyewitness testimonies. And let's move on to story number three. And tigers have a distinctive dark striped pattern on the light background of white or golden. A rare pattern variant distinguished by stripes that are broadened and fused together is also observed in both wild and captive populations. This is known as pseudo melanism, which is different from true melanism, a condition characterized by unusually high deposition of melanin, a dark pigment. The black tigers of Similipal in Odisha were once thought to be myths born out of hyperactive imaginations and overstimulated brains. After all, meeting or even seeing a tiger in a dense dark forest could play tricks on the mind, couldn't it? A team of scientists has now resolved the genetic mystery of Simli Pal's so-called black tigers, led by Uma Ramakrishnan and her student Vinay Sagar from the National Center of Biological Sciences, Bangalore. The study found that a single genetic mutation in these tigers caused black stripes to broaden or spread into the tawny background. And the team have found that a single mutation in the gene transmembrane aminopeptidase Q causes the black tigers to develop stripes that seem to have broadened or spread into the tawny background. And genetic analyses 
of other tiger populations from India and computer simulations suggest that the similipal black tigers may have arisen from a very small founding population of tigers and are inbred. Similipal tigers are an isolated population in eastern India and gene flow between them and other tiger populations is very restricted. This has important implications for the tiger conservation as such isolated and inbred populations are prone to extinction over even short periods of time. And with this, this is a wrap on this edition of Science Time. We will be back with more interesting stories from the world of science next week. Till then, do watch Science Time every Friday at 9 p.m. only on India Science. Namaskar. <laughs>